Dear friends in Jesus Christ, we are entering into the fourth day in the holy season of Lent. Marked with ashes, Christians set off on a Lenten journey where they strive to leave behind everything that will turn to dust, focus on drawing closer to God and God's promise of eternal life, says Pope Francis. In one of his homilies, Pope Francis said, The Old Testament fast was announced with a trumpet blast. It is a loud sound that seeks to slow down our life, which is so fast-paced yet often directionless. It is summons to stop, to focus on what is essential, to fast from the unnecessary things that disturb us. It is a wake-up call for the soul. The main message of Lent is Lord's call. Return to me. Moving towards the Lord requires moving past things that often distract and derail a person's journey. Thinking only of feeling good, solving some problems and having fun. Or the search for wealth, the thirst for power, or the accumulation of things. The small mark of ash which we received on Ash Wednesday is a subtle yet real reminder that of the many things occupying our thoughts that we run after and worry about every day, nothing will remain. Earthly realities fade away like dust in the wind. Our hard and material possessions will take back seat as we are called to proceed. The prayer, fasting and alms giving in Lent are meant to help each of us to get back on the path to holiness and to the Lord. Because prayer unites us to God. These virtues connect us to God, to our neighbor and to our own selves. These are the realities that do not fade away and in which we must invest. These are realities that produce lasting values. Prayer generates grace that liberates the heart from vanity. It brings healing from obsessions and addictions that seduce us. It is time to fix our gaze on what abides, keeping our eyes on the cross and on the crown of thorns will definitely help us to keep our focus set on Jesus and his journey towards a salvific mission. The poverty of the wood, the silence of the Lord, his loving self-emptying shows us the necessity of a simpler life free from anxiety about things. From the cross, Jesus teaches us the great courage involved in renunciation. From the cross, he shows us the power of loving communion with his Father. From the cross, Jesus defines the meaning of obedience. We will never move forward if we are heavily weighed down. We need to free ourselves from the clutches of consumerism and the snares of selfishness, from always wanting more and more, from never being satisfied and from a heart close to the needs of the poor. Lent, that we just began with the ashes on the forehead, will eventually lead us to the fire of Easter night, to the discovery that in the tomb, the body of Jesus does not turn to ashes, but rises gloriously. May we have the grace to enter into this great mystery of self-surrender in ardent faith and earnest desire to follow his footpath by taking up the given responsibility as life partners, as parents, as children, as grandparents, as bachelors and committed persons in dedicated service. Amen.